back here with the install of the Chinese made axles for the low C LMT. This truck here, I got the Vitavon axles with the hot racing caster blocks. And for those axles, for the pair and all the hardware, and the servo mount plate, I got about $500 just in the axles and all the hardware on them. Now for the Chinese made axles, let's get this lid off here. about two hundred and thirty dollars that was for the C hubs and the caster blocks and the servo mount the axles themselves they were 145 for the pair I have a feeling they're gonna be just as good as the bit of honor the trials at just half the price what I paid for those As you can see, they look really nice. I went ahead and just installed the front one. The front and rear axle are both the same. So you can make your truck with four wheel steering, which I kind of like because if you buy the Vitavon or the Trio axles, you gotta buy them as a set. Then you got to buy two front axles to make it four wheel steering. But these here, they all come with the caster blocks and the C hubs. So you can make it four wheel steering. And of course, here's the plastic axle that I pulled off the truck. Just cheap. This ain't even the one with the honeycomb stuff in it. This is the first generation. So again, paid 230 bucks for both axles and all the hardware to make the four wheel steering. As opposed to 500 for the Vitavon axles, the C-Hub caster blocks and the servo mount. These are well made. All the bearings went right in them. Everything fit good. Nice axles for sure for the price. Very cool. Still got to install the rear. Just wanted to see how the front one went on. Did everything fit right and it did. So again, I got those axles off eBay. I got all the all the parts off eBay. But I just recommend the axles highly. And they seem just as good as the Vitavon or the Trials. They look good too. I also got some 10 millimeter hex adapters coming for the for the rim that's gonna move these tires out 10 millimeter. Just like I got on here. So it gives me a total of 20 millimeters. Moves the tire out just that much further. Here, I'll put them side by side so you can see.
you see the wider stance on that one. It also pushes the tire out far enough too so you can see a lot of this axle. Unlike this one here, it kind of hides the C-hubs and the caster blocks. But alright, I'll get you guys a video of it running over and out.